Um, hi everyone, thanks for showing up. I'm Katie Natopoulos. Um, I'm a senior editor at BuzzFeed uh, where we love uh, animals. Um, like this little fella, little lady. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and I've also been a friend of Shirley's for a long time. Um, I've known you for about like 10 years. No. That long? I think about that long. No, it can't be. Like 2005? Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, so, but I would say that there's there's no nepotism. Um, Shirley had this dog that was, had like this really like popular Instagram, and I was like, well, I can't post about it on Buzzfeed. Like, she's my friend. That would be weird, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so someone else did because yeah. Was, and actually, I have a, I have another friend at Buzzfeed, Peggy. Peggy Wang, who's, who's like pretty much my best friend. She didn't post about Marnie either. Yeah. It was some other totally different person. Someone totally discovered Marnie yeah. independently. <laughs> and was like, this dog the internet is going to love. And that is, that is very true. Um, so I remember when you first got Marnie, um, because... <laughs> Like, I think you posted a couple of pictures on Facebook or something, and like I remember talking to some friend who was like, hey, have you seen Shirley got this new dog? It's really weird looking. <laughs> <laughs> and like, sure enough, it was really weird looking. And like, she was like a little, a little mangier looking at first. She was, well, I never owned a dog before, so I wasn't, I didn't really know how to take care <laughs> of a dog. So when I got her, she was completely mangy. So it seemed like, oh, I took her to you know pet smart and they gave her a bath I was like oh she looks good but like really there was <laughs> it wasn't a very thorough bath there could have been more scrubbing oh. that could have been done but uh, yeah she's so looking good you got her from a shelter in Connecticut yeah I, f I found her on petfinder.com which is a website to find um, homeless animals like cats and dogs mm -hmm. and other spe and other species um, and I I was just like wasting hours and hours just looking at pictures of dogs, and then I s and then I saw her. I was like, "Oh my god, that dog is incredible!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" So I kept calling the shelter over, and they never answered. And I kept calling because I was like, "I need to see this dog." Finally, um, they answered the phone. I filled out an application. Uh, I took the day off work. Uh, it was like a two hour train ride up to Connecticut and then like a 30 minute taxi ride and like the shelter was like so weird. It was like really smelly. It was like just like some guy's house. He was like hoarding animals. It was really weird. And like the night prior I actually had googled like this shelter and I was like horrified. I was like oh my god I can't go to that place because like the guy had like all these like counts of animal abuse and uh, also just like punching people in parking lots and like, <laughs> like really weird stuff. He had like all these like court cases open for just like really weird things. Um, but I was like, but I want to like, it's not, I'm not like adopting this man, I'm adopting this dog. Right, <laughs> right, right. So uh, he, they brought her out and like, oh. um, there was a woman there and the guy, and the guy was kind of weird. The woman was really nice. I think she had just like good intentions of helping animals. Um, they brought her out. She looked disgusting. <laughs> uh, like she really did not look good. I was like, oh my God, what am I getting myself into? But I just like, I just like panicked and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take her. <laughs> and, um, you know, the rest is history. Um, I, I love this story because it's like, you know, there's something like a little, like Marnie's not a usual dog. Um, and, you know, you sort of think about like in shelters, this might be the one who would be like last picked ever. And then you're like, no, I will travel four hours to get there and deal with the punching man. Yeah. Um, I want that one. That's, that's my Marnie. Yeah, I mean, the picture of her online was like pretty cute. I think most people who would see it would be like, that dog's cute. Because like, there are dogs that would have a much harder time getting adopted. Um, pit bulls have a really hard time. Mm -hmm. um, bigger dogs, and especially old dogs, have a hard time. Um, but yeah, she's old, but like, you no, know, she's a cute little Shih Tzu. So she doesn't have it quite as hard as like pit bulls. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, I've, I've like walked down the street with you when you have the dog with you and like people like freak out. Um, yeah. and, <laughs> and I think that it's like, I mean, this is a very identifiable dog. Is there like one instance, like the craziest thing that has happened when some, you were walking down the street with Marnie and someone like, uh, I was in, I went to LA for the first time in a long time. Um, maybe like a couple months after, Marnie 
uh, started getting popular, mm -hmm. and I was just like on the corner, and then like someone like just screams out the window of their car, Marnie! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! And then that was cool because like she ended up being like a really cool person, and like we went hiking together. <laughs> <laughs> So you like befriended your dog street harasser? <laughs> yeah, she was really cool. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um So the fact that your dog is extremely cute but also has this amazing internet virality. Yeah. Um is really fascinating to me because it's like I think, you know, everyone loves cute animals but like why this one? I mean, she is she is exceptional. Um, yeah. But do you like? I have a couple of theories about why Marnie was so popular on Instagram and the internet, as opposed to like a different dog. And I think that I think that like Marnie's voice is a big part of that, yeah. and yeah. that it's like it's really authentic. Yeah, like so, like <laughs> like it's like you look at her and you're like, that's exactly what that dog is saying. Like that's yeah. that's 100% how that dog talks like that makes sense that that is accurate that's authentic yeah I always find it weird like early on like I was following a lot of dogs on Instagram and um, you know like like people would just write captions and I'm like that dog would never say that <laughs> <laughs> so I just try to like yeah Marnie does have like a really big personality I think um, I I can usually know I usually know what she's kind of thinking uh, <laughs> And yeah, I, I just try to really like get in Marnie's mind. I like, I really just go there. I'm like, what's Marnie thinking right now? And I go with that. Um, I, l I also like that like Marnie is like, I mean, the situations that she's in in her different photographs are like, it's not just like a bunch of pictures of her. Like she has outfits. She's in different places. Like there's, she has, she's traveling around, but she's also like, I feel like she has like a very New York attitude too. Um, she's cool. She's very she's cool. cool. Yeah. Um, in your book, there's one. Uh, there's like a picture where she's on the subway and she's like, "Stop man spreading!" And it's like that's such like <laughs> that's such like a uniquely New York thing too. That like yeah. I don't know that it's that's also I also feel like that's kind of like that's Shirley Braha saying "Stop man spreading." That's not necessarily. No, that's really that's what okay. Marnie's thinking for okay. sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, does she? What's been her favorite outfit to wear? Uh, whatever gets her the most treats I think oh. but, um, I would say stuff like stuff with glasses is hard she doesn't like she'll tolerate it but mm -hmm. she, she doesn't like glasses like whenever like she's fine with anything until you start putting stuff on her head and she's like oh come on <laughs> so I try not to do too much of that but yeah you know I'll never do anything that like really she doesn't like but she wouldn't let me she'd be like no I'm not doing this <laughs> um, does she have a Halloween costume yeah we got a bunch did you is, is, or can you tell us what they're gonna be a little like secret preview um, I don't know, it's just like stuff that you buy on like eBay. It's oh. really not. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not like crafty. I don't like sit at home like sewing my dog costumes. Like I got things to do. <laughs> um, if anyone has a Marnie costume that you made, you can give it to Shirley or sell it on eBay to her. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I know that like a oh, hi Marnie. Um, I mean, she's like, I think that she's so, like, chill is the thing that she's, you know, I mean, this is like, this is a lot for a dog to endure, like a, a bunch of people. Standing. No, she loves it. That's the weird thing. It's mm -hmm. like, my dog is a freak. She loves crowds. She loves the attention. Like, um, she's yeah. really not like any other dog. Like, this, no. this would normally make dogs, like, nervous or like, no, she's so, just wants She's to never been happier. She's like, damn, I'm famous. <laughs> Um, what kind of legacy do you hope that Marnie will have? Um, y you know, years yeah. down the road. I mean, long term, I think the best thing that I could imagine would be just sort of helping contribute to the idea that adopting an older dog is like a really awesome and important thing to do that people just over like people sometimes people don't even think about it or consider it they're like oh why would I ever adopt like a 10 year old dog the dog's gonna die but you know a 10 year old dog can live till 18 sometimes or 20 so you can have a lot of great years there and um, you know also these dogs just need homes like we let millions of dogs die every year in shelters it's just awful um, adopt an elder dog guys uh, <laughs> um, does Barney have any famous animal friends? 
Um, well, yeah, I mean, we have like, I, I def there's definitely a bunch of dogs that I met uh, through Instagram. Okay. Yeah, those are fun. We're they fun. The other dogs like slide into her DMs. Yeah, like, totally. Hey, Seriously. What's up, yeah. Marnie? Yeah. Um, one <laughs> of our friends is in the book, uh, Hamilton Pug. He's in there. Oh. And um, yeah, whenever, I think there's a couple other dogs in the book. Marnie gets along with other dogs, um, well, of course. Mm -hmm. She gets along with pretty much everybody. Uh, but I think, um, you know, it's a pretty exclusive relationship that she and I have. It's like, we're, you know, we're each other's soulmates and like, it's fun to like hang out with other people, meet other dogs, whatever. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's not like, she's not like, I want to go hang out with Hamilton Pug. She's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't ruin my illusion that these dogs are true soulmate friends. <laughs> I need that. Um, I, in like the foreword to your book, there's something where you say that like, you rescued her, but like, she rescued you. Um, I mean, I thought that was like really sweet because I think that that's what the relationship that people have with pets a lot of the time is that it's it's really a two-way street yeah I mean she really gave me a place to like give all the love that I want to give is that not corny <laughs> I don't know like I just it's like I can give her like tons and tons of love and it just feels really great you know she likes it mm. No. Um, well, those are all the questions I have. Does anyone uh, in the audience have questions for Marnie? Oh. We'll do our best. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what's the official name of Marnie fans. Oh, I, I've seen it online. Well, I've seen a few. I've, I've seen Marniators. Marniators. I don't know. Does anyone have a good suggestion? Marnaholics. Marnaholics. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have any advice for young struggling dog Instagrams? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, definitely, like, I, I only started it, like, for fun, uh, and it's, it seemed like taking it too seriously early on is, like, kind of, it's kind of weird, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, you know, just do it out of love. It's, like, I love my dog, and I want to, like, capture how cute they are. Um, yeah, just do it for fun, I would say. Can you shout out your question? Yeah, I have a very pressing question. Does Marnie ever bark? Oh, great question. Yeah, people ask me that sometimes, and it is a really good question. Um, she'll almost never bark uh, in the presence of other people, um, or really in my presence either, except under uh, two circumstances. One, if like a dog uh, s like starts trying to hump her, <laughs> she's, like, she's not having that. Um, two is, when she sees me getting ready to go out, like she's like she'll just be sleeping and like she'll just you won't even think that she's like conscious. She's just like you know passed out. And then I go to the bathroom. I you know I start getting ready to leave and I come back out and she's just staring at me. And like cause she she like has a sixth sense. She knows when I'm like getting ready to leave. Uh, so then if she thinks I'm like about to leave, she'll start barking. And if I leave without her, forget it. She'll just like bark for hours until I get back. So I bring her with me almost everywhere because yeah, I can't have that. <laughs> Couple more questions. Yeah. Do you have any comments on uh, Marnie's uh, potential 2016 presidential run? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're looking for a running mate right now, <laughs> and um, you know, more snacks for the middle class. <laughs> That's a tough act to follow, but <laughs> any other ones? How does Marnie handle trolls? Trolls? Oh, uh, I, I guard her from that. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want it to, uh, you know, affect her self-esteem, so. <laughs> yeah. Keep that away from her. Are, are there actually Marnie trolls? Like, is there any human alive who would go and, like, <laughs> like, say something mean on a dog's Instagram? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are trolls for literally anything in this world. Um... <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know, people will say, like, mean stuff sometimes, like, that, like, the dog, I don't even want to say it, it's so rude, Aww. but, um, yeah, just, like, especially, like, like, people would say, like, oh, that dog's inbred, oh, like, I don't, it's just so rude, like, I don't even want to go there, but. 
Don't, don't listen. Um, <laughs> how does Marnie feel about you putting snacks like candy corn all over her? Oh. Is she cool about it? <laughs> she, the, the, can, oh, the candy corn on the floor. Yeah, she was fine with that. I tried to put like candy corn like by her head. She wasn't, she didn't like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, does Marnie have a bank account? Like, does she make cash money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, has, she has a PayPal account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have? Thank you. Uh, which uh, celebrity is the most die-hard Marnie fan? Jonah Hill. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, and Jim, Jim Parsons from, um, Big bang. Big bang. Yeah, he's also. We met him once. He was. He really liked money. But I, we've run into Jonah Hill several times because he lives in the neighborhood sometimes. Um, and he's like, he's really good with her. He he like he knows how to hold her right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's really cool. Any questions on this side of the room? We've kind of done this. So oh sure. Um, would you ever do a Marnie movie like the Grumpy Cat movie? I don't know. I think it, it might be too exhausting for her, and I, I don't really know how it would work. I, I don't know. <laughs> Here, wave. Uh, wave. Good girl. <laughs> wave, wave, wave. Good girl. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Marnie queries. Yeah, when's the 2016 calendar dropping? Oh, uh, I actually I didn't finish making it yet, but it, it'll it'll happen. Probably like end of November, early December. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Just go ahead and shout. Um. Hi. Uh, I know, like when Marnie first started up, I think you did like uh, like private things with people, but now I bet I'm adding like. Yeah, like early on, um, like I'd get emails from people that were like, my girlfriend really loves Marnie, or like, I'm proposing to my, like uh, my fiance, and we're gonna be in New York, and can Marnie like deliver a letter? <laughs> so, <you know? laughs> uh, so I was like, yeah, sure, but. Uh, Wait, so there's like a couple who got married because of Marnie? Oh, yeah, just because of Marnie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't even know each other. <laughs> nope. Uh, but yeah, like with this book and everything, I'm just like, it's not even about me getting tired. It's like Marnie, like she, she loves going out and doing stuff, but I don't want to do too much with her in a day because she's 13, you know, get it. Yeah. Can't be running around town like crazy. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Oh, um, if you want to stalk us, the best, <laughs> the best park uh, is, it's, it's called Foley Square, it's just, it's like on Worth Street, um, in the municipal building area, and it has like this huge area of grass where a lot of dogs, it's not a dog park, she doesn't actually like dog parks, but it's just a lot of grass for her to like walk around and, and smell grass, and uh, yeah, she loves it there, so I, I try to bring her there almost every day, especially when it's nice out. Yeah. Um, other dogs are usually really good with Marnie because um, she is so mellow that like if a dog maybe has aggressive tendencies they won't really show around Marnie because they they don't have to put their guard up they're just like oh this is like a sweet nice dog and so pretty much every dog is like very calm around Marnie and I never I never really have to worry um, ab about her too much when she's playing with other dogs any other questions yeah go ahead in the back Right now. She's staring at me be like, where's my treats at? Where's my treats at? I wish, I'm going to turn around because it's so cute. I feel like, I wish you guys could see how cute this face is. Sit. She's got a one track mind for those treats. Seriously. Don't look at me. I don't have any treats. <laughs> <laughs> Did I another question? Go ahead. Oh, I know. Maybe a really hard question. Do you think it's 
I think the one with the donuts from early on, was, that was like one of the, f that was like kind of like her breakout photo and I was like, oh my god, my dog is something, she's different, like you can't do this with a lot of dogs, so just seeing her like being happy with a bunch of donuts on top of her, I was like, whoa, this is, we could have some fun with this. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, what's Marty's favorite song? Um, yeah, honestly, like she's she doesn't mind music at all. But like I've never seen her be like, oh, this, like this. I like this jam. <laughs> this is my jam. <laughs> <We're That's laughs> time yeah, for yeah. Go ahead. What's Marty's favorite snack? Oh my gosh, she likes so many things. Um, <laughs> Dep like what, like she likes vegetables, she likes fruit, she likes carbs. I get th like her favorite vegetable <laughs> is, hi, my favorite, ve her favorite vegetable is broccoli. Um, she'll eat like cooked spinach, she'll, she doesn't like carrots, she doesn't like lettuce, uh, doesn't like tomatoes. Um, she loves cheese, she loves, oh she loves Greek yogurt. I give her that all the time. I usually just like give her bits of whatever it is I'm eating if she's interested in it and it's like not poisonous to dogs obviously. Um, but yeah, she loves like, she has like a pretty refined palate. I'm very impressed with her. <laughs> and um, and like if if she has a water bowl and like it's water from yesterday that maybe has like crumbs of food from the day before, she won't drink it. She'll just be like, no, like she'll wait for me to change it. Uh, so yeah, she's, she, yeah, she has like, oh, and she won't eat processed peanut butter. She'll only eat like all natural peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, she's really funny. Uh, and like, yeah, bagels, muffins, like all that stuff. Like obviously I give her like small pieces of it and not an entire bagel. Um, but it does make her very happy to have like little little bits and pieces of, of bread. But every dog is different. So like some dogs can eat gluten, some can't. So you know, don't just be like, oh Marnie eats bagels. Let me give my dog bagels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back here. How do you get ideas for your photos? Um Sometimes they just, ha like, I think a lot of the best pictures just sort of happen spontaneously. Um, but I also, like, look at eBay and see, like, oh, are there any cute costumes? I don't know. And, like, <laughs> just work with that. Yeah, right here. Do you take your dog with you to work? To work? Yeah. Girl, this is my work. <laughs> 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 yeah, I bring her with me um, everywhere because, well, I actually... Um, when I first got her, I was employed full time. Uh, I had like you know a nine to five job, which I like somehow made into like a one to eight job because like I'm just really bad at waking up early. But I felt I felt really bad leaving her home alone every day, and like she hated it. So um, when that job like basically ended, I didn't get a new job because I was like, well, I need to get something where I can be with her all the time. I didn't want to leave her again, and so this thing just sort of like evolved naturally, where you know I was able to do this full-time um, and it's great you know because uh, all she really cares about is me is being with me so it's a perfect arrangement <laughs> super sweet yeah um, do fashion designers ever get actually like uh, like dog fashion designers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, regular. I, I don't know that there's no. Uh, we got a couple things in the mail, but I, you got to be careful with that stuff because it's like you'll say, okay, yeah, send me this letter, and then they're like, can you post a picture with it? Are you gonna post a picture with it? And then it's like, you know what? Like, I'll just buy her own sweaters, you know, and then like not have any like obligations of like, you know, feeling bad that I didn't post someone's sweater on Instagram, you know? <laughs> yeah. We have one final question, you sir. <laughs> um, I think she's more honestly like I think if I was a dude I, I, like I would be set but I don't know that <laughs> I don't know if it works the other way around quite as much but sure I mean I've met a couple people but like you know what I'll get a lot is like guys coming up to me like oh my god Marnie can I take a picture my girlfriend loves <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you both so much for being here tonight.